Oh, I love my manager, he's a funny person. She's very engaging. She's really, really a fan, more than one above. Yeah. Erica is such a firecracker, you know. It's very like easy going, you know, go with the flow kind of guy. Yeah, I love working with people like that. He's very welcoming in every sense. I mean, you feel, he's one of those persons that you feel like you can talk to him about anything and we'll be open to that. Gary, you know, he's, he's laid back, he's a good leader. For me, it's like a teddy bear. It's like so easy with him. He has a, a very positive energy. Always moving, things around. She is very... A bit crazy. <laughs> not that, not that crazy, crazy. To motivate my team, I'm always with them, you know. Um, like I go one day in a week, um, Mamadou wearing in the team uniform, with them, making baguette, you know, just show the team. I can lead them by example, I can do, I, I'm, we are part, you know, I'm part of the team. I'm not just a manager, but we are a team together, we can do things together. But there could be a small thing which makes a big difference to them. Coming and saying a good morning to them, identifying each and every individual specifically can make a big difference. Respect them all, like morning, good morning. You treat your team as you would like to be treated? She does believe in me. She actually believes in every single person in this shop. Things we do to motivate this kind of team brief we do, um, try and do every day. I'm not promising every day. Having regular team briefs, letting the staff know what's going on. Once a week, you know, we got a team brief. Just little talks, little thank you and dance. Even two seconds every day just saying, guys, you know, let's just get it together. I think our nice little morning meetings are pro probably quite motivational. So I'll go through the week's figures, like how close are we to doing whatever we need to do. She motivates you by giving you, like, Attacks. Obviously working together, having fun with the customers, having fun amongst themselves. And having fun at job is quite important. Maybe starting a little game for the day, or have a little game with the customers for the day, dice, dice roll or whoever's wearing red gets a free coffee, something like that. I think the most important part with the team is to cross train them and for everybody to have an understanding of everyone else's roles. Um, also, they like learning new skills. They know that the manager is going to give some training and coaching, so training and coaching is going to happen. Whenever you have doubts, when you are not sure about anything, you will always find someone who knows the answer or to support you. You can always ask. I like the progression route that of working here. The development as well uh, involves a big role in there because they know they're not going to work at the customer house for the next three years. It gives you opportunity to go up very quickly. Communication is very important everywhere, isn't it? Send the video through SMS or we do Facebook uh, messaging as well. So we have got a group on uh, for St. Martin's where you know we post the videos of whatever happened good in the shop at that particular time. Like for example, Paula graduating as a barista. And we use that to to agree meetings and to like to do thank you cards. I love the idea of the thank you. Mm -hmm. You know those cards that it's just gave to the staff? And she always gives this thank you note to show you that you're doing a great job. I give them thank you cards, I can write it up on the board thanking them. Fifteen people looking at that comment makes a big difference to that person. Some of the managers do an open window kind of thing. Every Friday, three o'clock, I'm here for one hour, whatever you only speak about that. And he tries to solve it. If it's a problem, he tries to solve it. And if it's something good, he has to tell to everybody, very good team. I always try to put a show on, so it's kind of like you are a director of theatre. Uh, last year we beat, you know, it was a budget beater, the most, you know, and my area. I took all my team to Paris, we celebrating our money to Paris. You know, if someone's having a bad day, we all have bad days, don't go mad. Just, you know, coach them, have a chat with them and see if next day they'll do better. Or talk to them and find out what's going on in their life, you never know. If you've got a family issue, you bring it later on, we're trying to help. If he saw us not happy, call you to the office and talk to you and said, oh, I don't see, this is not you. I know you're a happy person all the time, but I don't see that smile coming out. What's the matter? Bad days, we might have bad days. But oh, don't worry about it, just pick yourself up. She can understand you when you're sad, when you're like a, like a person, like a, not like a boss. And they always make you feel like you can talk to them if you have anything that is, like let's say I have some issue going on. They always make me feel like I can come to them and talk to them and they can advise me. I have other jobs outside uh, it, and sometimes at some point I, I need to ask Gary to move to the openings, and he was quite understand. It allows me this flexibility of coming very early or closing very late. Oh, well, it was really good, really flexible here, which was really important. I got one daughter. I'm single, sort of. 
all the time on my own. My manager is flexible. We normally when we have these monthly meetings, what we are doing is we meet here for like for the work stuff and afterwards we we'll go for a drink or a meal or something. Bringing them out, like go for a team, like go out for a drink. Day after payday or something, we head out, we've got some bars next door that give us good deals. At least we've had a drink together or something. Are we going out? <laughs> for drinks. We might all go out for a drink. We can go out for bowling or we can go and night out. There's a pub down the road. We have dinner. We go to party. Take my team once a week. We're going out. We might like go out sometimes. Like We might go bowling or something. It's fine because you get to know people in different contexts. You know your team better, they will do things for you. Uh, if I have a problem with someone, we can just get out ourselves and go out for a drink after work. I try to talk to them They're out of work. I know when they're engaged because from the reaction from the customers and also amongst themselves, they're all working at full capacity. Everything seems pretty effortless. They're all happy, they're all proud to be working away. Positive vibes that everybody brings in the morning, in the afternoon. You walk in, everyone's happy in the morning, you know. So you find a really a good place, like a family. We're all united as a staff. I mean, people are here are great. And making sure the team works well, that's my motivation because I know if I'm slacking off, someone else is going to have to pull up that slack. We are like a little family. We help each other, I mean. You know, the engaged team makes a big difference in terms of everything, every role in the shop. It's just making everything smooth and better. If you've got an engagement team, you've got a happy team, you've got a result. Massive benefits in terms of uh, training. You don't spend constantly spend uh, time on training people. Quite good for your t team turnover as well. You have engaged team, happy team, happy customers. Your team happy, customers happy. Customers happy, more money for the company, and more money for your shop. The manager is happy for the bonus. <laughs> The customers are feeling the benefit and ultimately so am I. I don't have to worry about the store and I feel safe leaving it in their hands. If you're there for your team, they will be there for you. Don't be negative, be positive. Be with your team. Give yourself time to get to know your team, to get to know the uh, person you're going to work with. And communication. You need to talk to your guys, you need to find out what their backgrounds are, where they come from, what skills maybe they had in other jobs. And you'd be amazed what talent is under your nose. It's like I'm a bit of a dinosaur when it comes to IT and computers, but I've got Min who's a bit of a computer geek. So anytime I've got a problem with my computer, he's the one who helps me out. So utilise those skills. If you want to be good at managers, you have to develop us like our managers doing at the moment. Do you think you can handle that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so good luck everyone. <laughs> And see you around. <laughs> Have a good time. See you later. And good luck. Good luck to all the managers. <laughs> it's hard work, but very rewarding, I would say. Don't do it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>